Hey Aries, how you doing? I had a special request to do Aries reading. Since it is the full moon and your sign, you all also had a good amount of views last week. So I was like, yeah, I can do Aries reading next, no problem. So Aries, let's get into it. Please be sure to like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. If I do resonate with you as a reader, I appreciate it. And with that being said, Aries, let's go ahead and get into this, see what's going on with you and your love interest or the person on your mind. Whoever really comes through the strongest in the reading, that can equally be someone who is focused on your energy as well, okay? Or maybe who you need to hear a message about, okay? We'll see what I pick up happening right now, and then we'll get into what I see happening next, okay? So this is the first part of the reading, Aries. Let's see how your person shows up in the connection with you. Can you show me Aries' love interest? How does this person show up in the connection with Aries right now? The Nightingale. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have the Fire Ant, Aries, Leo, Sag. So it could be another Aries as well. And then more air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Owl. All right. So really quickly, okay, your person could be, um, right now in the connection with you, this is a lot of uh, very sensitive, sensitive energy with the fire ant. So your person could be like, there's something here that is bothering them in the connection Aries, but I don't get that they're talking about it with you. All right. Now, with the nightingale and the, the owl, they could be speaking about what's bothering them to someone else, for sure, all right? <clears throat> you know, having, having conversations, seeking advice, okay? I am getting that. And Whoever they're speaking to, especially if they're getting like advice about the connection with you, Aries, they have a sense that this person is, I don't know, ha has a lot of, I, think, I feel like this, they value what this individual has to say, especially with the owl, okay? The owl is someone who is expecting to receive some sort of gift or their see your person is like seeing um how do i say this this is like kind of the owl i'm like well how do we say this the owl is someone who can see things that others don't. And it's like my high priestess card. Can also see like beyond the veil, all right? And I do get your person talking and sharing and, and discussing, you know, their thoughts little bits at a time. but they're seeing value in this, okay? I feel like your person wants to open up more about what's going on with you, Aries. They wanna open up more about what's going on with you, but they're waiting. They they. They're waiting to share more 
okay? And they may feel like whoever they're talking to, like I said, can offer like valuable insight, okay? And maybe help them out with the situation with you. They could be speaking to some sort of counselor. Um, I get like your person trusts who this is, okay? Show me how Aries comes up in this connection. How does Aries come up in this connection? The scorpion, the bat. So scorpion is, there's your Mars energy. And then you have the sea turtle. Yeah. So it's interesting, right? You come up with the scorpion energy and they have this fire ant energy. I do get that you, right now, you may know that you are upset with who this is, okay? Or you're still like stewing on, on the situation here with who this is, Aries. Um, and you may know that you need to kind of, uh, take some time and cool off here from this individual. All right. Cause you seem maybe to be sensitive to when the, when the scorpion shows up, it's like, there, there may, there's, there's something here where you're like, I still need to, um, get into a place where. I can stop being upset or I can forgive in order to move on. Um, I think you do have this sense with this individual Aries, like, you know, I need to let it go. Like, even if you're upset with who this is, okay, for some reason, you're like, I need to just let that go. Um, tomorrow is a new day. I think mentally you're processing things and um, you're making, you know, adjustments. You yourself could be speaking with someone else too, Aries, maybe a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio or even a Virgo. This is like my Virgo card, but the turtle energy is a wise spirit okay it connects with you know collects wisdom what it says in the spirit book uh or the the animal spirit book in its shell all right so i think you are trying to approach this from a wiser place Okay, a place of wisdom. But right now, you know, you're still, I'm still getting, you know, with the scorpion energy, you're still upset. Okay. Like your Mars energy is more dominant the more dominant energy right now, okay? And Mars can represent the ego, which is not a bad thing, okay? But, you know, maybe there's something, you know, where you're looking at this from a point of ego, okay? But that's why I also get with you though, with the bad energy, you are like, yeah, but I kind of, I need to move on from this. I need to just get myself Learn, learn from this even with the turtle. Um, take, take the knowledge. I do feel like with the turtle too, though, it's like you're, you would like some more understanding here in this, in this connection with who this is. You would like a little bit more, you know, clarity and understanding, but you do, I, I feel like Aries, you, you just know you're upset right now.
show me how this person comes up in the connection with Aries right now. Show me how this person shows up in the connection. Acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So all of that can apply to what's going on here. Okay. And again, you have separation again. So I definitely feel like you and this person are separated fit by, you know, it can be by distance, can be, and, and also too, there's been a pattern possibly that has been stopped, okay? Maybe this person would like to stop the pattern that goes on between you two, if this is a pattern at all. They're like, I, I wanna break that, I wanna stop that. And they could be, like I said, remember I got like they were speaking with, um, someone else potentially about the situation with you, but they weren't really talking with you about it. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Clarify Aries in this connection. All right. So love call came up. So potentially you would, you know, love to receive a call from who this is. Someone expresses love, a message of love thinking of you, letting you know. I think possibly more clarity. That's what I was getting with the turtle. More clarity from who this is would help you. Um, I think that uh, potentially a lot of people, peop, a lot of you, sorry, <laughs> A lot of you would like this person to express themselves, okay? But I think that with them coming up with the ant, they are aware, like, I'm just getting something keeps bothering them and they are sensitive about it within the connection, okay? Because I think if this person, because like I see the sword in the rose. So clarity, truth, revelation. I feel like something here has been made clear to a certain degree. And that's why you're kind of like, well, maybe I just need to, you know, for lack of better words, be angry about it and then move on. Okay. But, um, even with palm with palm tree I think if this person speaks to you like I said or <clears throat> if you receive a call that would probably give you a little bit more stability in some sense okay because right now there's no earth coming up here, okay? So this connection right away lacks a level of groundedness, okay? Clarify, Aries person. Okay, they have the Page of Cups. Let me clarify you. Clarify, Aries. So, Scorpio energy over on your person's end. And that, but that is about like, again, stopping the pattern. It's uh, the page of cups is, it's a surprise type of energy. Look how she's, you know, kind of, you know, like, oh, I didn't expect that, right? So there's something here that's the owl. Remember I said your person is I see them speaking to someone else and they're, um, hold on.
they're like hoping to figure something out here that will stop them from feeling the way that they do. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, you have the hangman. Which is a period of limbo, all right? You really don't know what's going to happen right now. And you really, like for you, again, I'm getting like, you're, you're not really looking to make a move here. You're comfortable with seeing what's going to happen, allowing, okay? Possibly, you know, like on, I'm, I'm thinking of a phone line, right? With the hangman too. Like hanging on, like I'll hang on, I'll hang on for their call. That's George's story. <laughs> I don't really get you at this point, like super attached theories to how this is going to go with who this is. This is my card of like detaching and because it, there is a realization on your point that you, you're, you're not in control here. I kind of get Aries that this person may want to like, whatever they're receiving over here, whatever information they're getting over here, Aries. Like I said, remember I said it was valuable and I don't know, potentially this person could want to catch you off guard with whatever information they're receiving or whatever they're talking about here. So there's that, I do get that. What that means, I feel like you're kind of prepared, you're kind of prepared for it. Again, I do think you would like to hear from this person. But, okay, here's what I'm getting, Aries. Just this resonate for the cross watcher, I'm not sure. But that is a part of the pattern I'm getting to. Like, I feel like whoever's talking with them is like, if you want to change the pattern with Aries, you need to change the way that you do things with Aries. Page of Cups. It's a card. Of, it's just a small change, right? Like, but I feel like this person's like, um, I want Aries to be surprised by the fact that I, let's just say, don't call them or, you know, don't do something the same way. It's, it's funny, too, that you do have the hangman. That That's kind of like my back card, okay, where it is somebody who's like, I just need to kind of let this go for right now, or you're trying to figure out how to let this go. But I do, I get like your person wanting some sort of, some sort of uh, change here. They also want like a, like a, like it's like this little positive, this little positive change to come out of this, okay? Because you definitely come up like wanting to receive a call receive something here from this person like you would love a call okay but for them they're like i kind of want to be the receiver that's what i'm getting so 
So yeah, right now things are very up in the air with you and who this is. It's like not like nothing settled. Okay, I think this person may because you come up <clears throat> with the scorpion a bit triggered and they, you know, with the fire ant, um, it can be that because they're feeling or they have felt triggered, okay, sensitive about something here, um, you know, especially with them having that page of cups, which is also scorpion energy, it's kind of like they may feel like they're giving you I hate to say this, Aries, almost like a taste of your own medicine. That's not for all of you. And that may even be more of a cross watcher read. I got that from Tyler. Um, Tyler's Tarot, who's also in Aries, right? Um, but when he, <laughs> when I would catch him sometimes in his readings, he would like, oh, this is a cross watcher read. And I didn't understand that at first, but now I'm seeing what he's saying, like, okay, this may be more for the cross watcher, but the cross watcher could say, well, I'm just giving, you know, kind of Aries a dose of their own medicine or a taste of their own medicine, or they want Aries, right? Because some Aries may say they're not giving me shit. That's fine too. But your person could say, I'd like Aries to get a taste of their own medicine. That could be why they're doing what they're doing. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So all right, let's shuffle up. That's part one of the reading, Aries. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe. I hope that resonates, right? Um, or not that I hope <laughs> I don't want to say it like that, but I, I meant to say I hope that makes sense. If that resonates. That's what I meant to say. I don't want to say I hope that resonates, right? <laughs> Um, but if it resonates, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so here we go. All right, this is what we're going to get into with part two. Aries, can you please show me Aries person next in the connection with Aries? How's this person showing up next? Oh, all right, came up really quickly. Self-indulgence that flew out. All right, focus on the self, self-worth, time to heal shadow work and self-appreciation all right can you clarify how aries shows up next in this connection here we go cupid's arrow all right have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting you also have hesitation all right so this is how your person shows up again they could be just like it says focusing on themselves and for you maybe you still have faith that this person is going to express themselves let you know how they feel i do get the hesitation part you know aries maybe you're like do do i need to even think about this person reaching out or should I move on? Okay. Um, you're, you're kind of, there's like maybe still some of that hangman energy lingering. So we'll see. Um, we're going to get into part two, which is the extended reading on Vimeo. So if you feel like this message resonates and you can benefit from seeing how I pick up on the energy that's showing up next, how I see your person showing up for you in this connection, what are they wanting overall here? What do they want the overall outcome to be with you too, Aries? Um, and then we're gonna pull the outcome that I pick up for you too, as, as well as your advice, okay? So how should you be operating this connection? Um, how should you be showing up in order to get the results that you're wanting? So Aries, if this resonates and you feel like that information will be helpful, the link is below in the description, top of the comments. All right. And I'll see some of you for part two of the reading. If this is where we part ways, Aries, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching your reading. I appreciate you more than you know, and I'll see you soon. Peace.